Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be talking about the best activities that you can do in the greater Houston area. Yeah, don't just take our word for it. We're <laughs> gonna to talk to local Houston area residents and ask what they love doing the best in Houston. That's right, so let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm Brett Wallace. And I'm Amber Moore. And we're your, your Houston, Houston Local, local guide. guide. Okay, so before we get into things, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that little notification bell. We release a new video every single week. Now let's uh, go out and see what these folks are out here saying about yeah, Houston. Let's do it. So what is your favorite activity in the greater Houston area? So lately, I'm kind of a homebody, but lately me and my boyfriend have gotten into uh, mountain biking. And so surprisingly, there are a ton of trails and they're all over Houston, mm -hmm. but uh, we live in Siena. So locally, um, we've been going to the Sugarland Memorial Park uh, right there off University. It's by um, Smart Financial Center. And then there's a park called Cullinan, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, mm -hmm. park. And that's right by the Sugarland Airport, and that has some good uh, biking trails too. So these have like nature trails and stuff as well, but um, they have awesome biking trails. And then uh, there's a, a river park nature trails as well um, that's also in the area. But what we use is mtbproject.com, and you can literally search trails all over Houston uh, by distance, um, difficulty level, um, and it's a, it's an awesome resource for uh, trails if you're looking anywhere. That's awesome, thank yeah. you so much. Hey, so what are some Houston-based activities that you like doing? Well, I love motocross, and there's three motocross tracks in Houston. You got Three Palms, mm -hmm. you have Freedom, and you got Rio. Which one's the, I guess, the biggest or most well-known? Three Palms is the most well-known. It's actually got four tracks on one facility, and it's the Mecca of Texas motocross. Really? And that's in Conroe, you said? Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. I've lived here my whole life. All right. Well, cool, man. Thank you. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. For sure. Okay, so say you have two days off in a row, no work, no family, no nothing. What does those two days look like in Houston if you can do anything you want? Definitely if I'm relaxing on the weekend and have some free time, I'm going to want to go to an outdoor bar mm -hmm. to enjoy the beautiful Houston weather. The sun's always shining. We have Kirby's Ice House. We have Axelrad. Definitely a place to go, Axel Rad. I've heard um, about we, that. Yeah. Um, there's Heights Beer Garden, McIntyre's. I mean, there's so many different places. You could try a different place every weekend and you'd be going forever. Cool. Awesome. That's a, that sounds like a fun weekend. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, my kind of fun. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Anytime. All right. Hey, so um, anything cool in Houston that you, you like doing that not a lot of people might know about? Um, I think we have a lot of really cool indoor rock climbing gyms uh, downtown, like on Silver Street. There's momentum and you can just, it's a really cool way to kind of um, get into rock climbing if you're, you know, weird about heights because it's, right? it's a certain type called bouldering. So you don't go very high and you can just kind of like fall on the mat. What and ages like do they do they let go in there? Is it, like, is it fun for kids too? Yeah, yeah. They, they have a whole like kids corner, which is like smaller, easier rock climbing. And it's it's actually really good for kids since they have no body fat. <laughs> so they can right. kind of just climb whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's fun for all ages. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no problem. So what is your favorite activity to do on the weekend here in the greater Houston area? Oh, Amber, I love the weekends here in Houston. My favorite thing is to go to church across Bridge Christian Church. It is just so much fun. I love that church. Uh, but if I'm not going to church, I'm playing Frisbee golf. Uh, one of my favorite Frisbee golf courses is in Katy. It's at Cinco Ranch, right next to Cinco Ranch High School. There's a park. I can't remember the name of the park, but oh, it's an 18 hole, wonderful golf course with a couple of great water hazards. And it is just so much fun. And my wife goes with me and she always finds a disc, a stray disc in the tall grass somewhere. So she has a lot of fun. And another one of my favorite things here in Houston is to shoot a bow and arrow. I love going to West Houston Archery. That's on I-10 at Kirkwood. And if you go there, ask for Rich Britton. Uh, he is the master bow mechanic and he'll sell you the best bow. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a fun time to shoot over there and hang out with those guys. And that's what I like to do in Houston. So what do you like to do here on the weekends? Okay, so 
a few things that I like to do on the weekends are um, if I'm doing projects around the home because I'm a big DIYer, um, I love going to Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Um, I like going to um, antique type stores to find nice little things to go around in the home. Um, out and about with the family, we love going to the zoo because we have a four-year-old, so she she's intrigued and um, and curious about animals. So we go to the zoo. Uh, we like to bike and sometimes go to like San Antonio and Austin if we just want to get away and venture out and see some other areas of Texas. I mean, there's so much to do. Uh, the food is good. I prefer mom and pop shops. If you love barbecue, uh, those to me are the best and they're very authentic. So that's what I love to do in Houston. Love it, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what do you like to do on the weekend? Well, if I can, I like to get on the Harley and head to the hills, but I just have to make sure I'm back in time to be down here at Crossbridge on Sunday morning. Love it. So where do you go and ride specifically? The hill country. So for people that aren't from here, is that Fredericksburg? Well, Fredericksburg is a place to sleep. I used to go ride the Twisted Sisters. Okay. Which is uh, three ranch roads. It's about 179 mile twisty up and down, gorgeous ride through huge cities like Medina, Vanderpool, Camp Wood, Mountain Home, etc. Hey, so what are some uh, cool things to do in Houston that not everybody might know about? Man, Houston being one of the greatest uh, cities out there in the United States, the fourth largest, uh, huge metropolitan, very diverse, lots of things to do. Uh, hard to pinpoint just a few, but you know, having children, I love the museums, the the color factories that opened up. Uh, I like going to, you know, the artsy parts of town up in Montrose, showing them some of the architecture out there. Um, another hidden secret spot I like to go down to is Memorial Park, skateboard parks over there. Oh, Pretty cool. cool bike paths over there, and uh, you know, a lot of jogging trails. Houston, obviously, being one of the top well-known culinary institutes now across the United States. Um, rivals uh, New York, Los Angeles, you know, San Francisco. There's so many uh, restaurants down here that you mm -hmm. can go get any taste of any culture that you like. Uh, and it's a phenomenal experience. Um, there's so much new stuff going on downtown and midtown, um, even on the suburbs. You have so many dog parks, tra uh, trails, paths, and um, just a lot of great sightseeing. Thank you to everyone that contributed today. It was awesome hearing about some of the best activities to do here in the greater Houston area. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, here's a thought. If you live in Houston or have been to Houston and done something cool here, comment below. If absolutely. you have any questions, comment below. We'd love to chat with you. Yes, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget our email and phone numbers are listed below. We'd love to hear from you. See you next week.